brothers and sisters, families and friends. Um, I'm so very grateful for this rare privilege to be able to share my thoughts with you at the conclusion of my mission. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kirby Heider, and I just recently returned from the Argentina, Buenos Aires, East Mission, where I served 22 months, the best 22 months of my life. Um, as I was pondering on how I could testify of Jesus Christ, I decided I would wait until I heard General Conference, and as I listened to the words of the prophets and apostles and the selected speakers this past weekend, I felt very impressed to talk about the priesthood and how crucial that is into the restoration of Jesus Christ's church, because this is his church. And I would like to start with a story today. I don't have much time, but I want to share a special story from my mission. And one time of my mission I was serving in a coastal town in the southern part of Buenos Aires, Argentina, in a town called Ostende. There my companion and I were, were working together. Um, we'd had a couple months together in the area and we were really enjoying it. And one Sunday after church we were doing contacts in the street and it was getting dark outside and we didn't have an appointment and we felt impressed to talk to a couple that was just arriving to their home. Pastora and, and Roger were their names. And it turns out that these, this couple and their daughters begin to progress very well. They begin to progress and progress, they begin to come to church. And with the time going on, we could see their testimonies developing. And at one point, Pastora told us how she had struggled for many years with a sickness in her, in her stomach. She wasn't sure what it was and none of the doctors could tell her what it was. But she was very afflicted and had much pain because of it. And... I'll never forget this day because I remember we went in and she just prayed about the Book of Mormon a few days before and she looked at us and she said, you guys have the power that Jesus Christ and his apostles had, don't you? And we responded that we did. And she said, if you have the power that Christ had to heal, you can heal me. Never, never before in my life could I, had I seen such faith. And I said, yes, we can. And my companion and I were able that day to give her a priesthood blessing, um, telling her to be healed and to let that problem not worry her more. Miraculously, um, by the power of God, she was healed. And to this day, I'm be being able to communicate with them. And um, she, she continues well after another month of being taught and deciding to be baptized. Um, they've continued to, to follow in the path. And this summer, they're planning to be sealed in the temple. And what a rare privilege that is for me. But I'd like to explain why it was that that happened. My companion and I had prepared ourselves. We had been worthy, we'd been diligent, and we were prepared for those moments. And we had faith. But the crucial part was that Pastora herself had faith. She too had begun to live the commandments. She began to go to church. She accepted the word of wisdom. She planned to be married to live the law of chastity. And as she continued to do so after the blessing, she continued to be healed. And I know it was for her faith and her obedience that, that was, that's why it happened. And the reason I tell this story is because Jesus Christ, our Savior, is a perfect example of obedience. About four months ago, I was reading the scriptures in the Pearl of Great Price. And I came across something that really, really got to me. As I studied the scriptures, I began to get emotional, which... I'm um, not one for emotions, but as I was reading in Moses 2, um, it's talking about the creation. And it talks about how God said, let, let us divide the waters and let there be land. And he says, and it was so even as I spake. It was done as I had said. And he said, let there be dry land. And it was so. He said, let there be seed upon the earth and tree and every living thing. And it was so even as I spake. In other words, every time he speaks saying, this should be done, let there be light, let there be water. It was done even as he had said it. And many readers may say, well, obviously God's all powerful. But if we were not to read the very first verse of this chapter, verse two, chapter two, verse one, it says here, and by mine only begotten, I created these things. By my only begotten. So every time that our father in that moment is saying, let there be light, and there was light. It's not because he said it. It's because our Savior, Jesus Christ, even before this earthly life, was perfectly obedient. And it truly 
gives me a desire to be like him, to develop his attributes. I know that he's a perfect example for all of us. And I know that God has a plan so special for every single one of us, specifically for you, a plan for you that's different than your brothers and your moms and your siblings. It's, it's for you. And I like to look at another example from the scriptures of Nephi. All of us know First Nephi 3, 7, when he says, um, I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded. For I know that the Lord giveth no commandments unto the children of men, save he shall prepare a way for them that they may accomplish the thing which he commandeth them. And I really have a testimony of this scripture. And there was a moment when I started to think, okay, I know there's a way, but how do I find the way? Right? And that was my question. How do I know this way, Heavenly Father? And one day as I was pondering on this question and my mission, thinking about a situation we were in and trying to find the, the exit, the solution, I came across this scripture after praying, which is in 1 Nephi 17, 3. It says as follows, And if it so be that the children of men keep the commandments of God, he doth nourish them and strengthen them and provide means whereby they can accomplish the thing which he has commanded. And if it so be that the children of men keep the commandments of God. In other words, if we are obedient, that scripture will come true. I know without a doubt in my mind, in my heart, in my entire body, that obedience brings these blessings and the power of heaven. I know that it's possible through the enabling power of Jesus Christ. Because he suffered for our sins and the atonement, our weaknesses can be strengths. And through that enabling power, we can keep the commandments as we pray for strength and pray to, to do so. I've seen that in my life, and I'm so very grateful to my Savior. I know that Jesus Christ lives. This is his church. This is his work. I have a special charge for all of you youth and all of you who have still the possibility to serve a mission. If there's even a little bit of doubt in your mind or completely doubting, saying, no, I'm not going to serve a mission, if it is possible for you to serve, please, please serve. And I'll tell you why. Because the mission that I just served changed my life completely. It set me in the right path. And the more I overcome my errors, the more I overcome sin, the less my Savior is suffering in the Garden of Gethsemane. Every time you make a good decision, you're avoiding Him suffering more. And you're helping Him get through it faster. Please serve a mission if you can. I love you all and I would like to close with my testimony. Yo sé sin ninguna duda de que esta iglesia es la iglesia verdadera. Yo sé que la obra misionada es la obra más importante en el mundo. Yo sé que Jesucristo es mi salvador. Porque yo he arrepentido y yo he sentido su amor y su perdón. Yo sé que ustedes pueden sentir lo mismo. Yo les testifico, sin ninguna duda, de que el poder de Dios está sobre la tierra hoy, que milagros siguen pasando. Yo testifico de que Dios está llevando a cabo su obra aún. En esos tiempos de caos y dificultad, nos aferremos a Él. Aferrémonos a Él hoy, orando, leyendo las Escrituras, siendo dignos. Si necesitamos hacerlo, les, inv les invito a que puedan hacerlo. Yo los amo con todo mi corazón. Esta es la iglesia verdadera. Y yo lo testifico con mucho amor en el nombre de Jesucristo. Amén.